This comes from a place of being someone who sometimes is a little difficult to love. I really thank God for all the people who are patient with me. I do. Um, I think sometimes we forget that. Sometimes we forget our stuff um, that the people in our lives, um, in a sense, have to deal with. Um, and it takes patience. I've learned that it takes patience to love. The Bible says love is kind, love is patient. But when I think about the word patient, I think sometimes we forget that patience is also very much consistent with or parallel to or correlated to long suffering. You see, patience and long suffering go hand in hand. The Bible says the fruit of the spirit, one of them is patience or long suffering. And I'm reminded that while we are engaging in relationship with people, some of our family, some of our friends, when we think about those aspects of us that are a little harder to love or take more love to be patient, um, it's probably because those people see something in you. The people that love us and that love translates to patience, it's because they know that there's something greater in you. You have potential to show or to express something better than what you've been expressing. And I think that's so beautiful. Um, when you can say that you have people in your life that are patient with you. And it's the scripture that I'm reminded of. The Bible says, don't you see how wonderfully kind God is with you? He's patient with you. So merciful with you. See, but watch this. It's all intended to turn you from your sin. And so even God's patience, the Bible says he's rich in mercy because he loves us. He's so kind. He's very patient. See? And think about those things, see, that you know God's been patient with you about. God's been very patient, see? He hasn't told you just once, not even just twice. Some of us, we know there are things that God has been dealing with us on and we don't always get it right all the way. See, I'm one of those people. I don't always get it right, and I need patience. And see, some of the things I know I do, not just grieves God, but I know now why it's called long-suffering, because they, they really do affect and they do hurt God. And there are people in our lives that some of the things we do, sometimes we're not privy to, we're blind to. Sometimes we hurt the people we love with our stuff, and that's why it's so important sometimes to thank the people who have really been patient with you. We forget about those people. They've been very patient. But, but I really want you to think about how God has really been patient with us. God has been very patient with us. One of the best ways to say that you really love somebody in your life is to not just acknowledge the things that you do wrong is to change the behavior. With the people we really love, we're not just saying deal with our stuff, stay patient with our stuff. It's thank you for loving me, and in the meantime, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to be better. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to not let my stuff ruin our relationship. It's very powerful. So we, we need to repent, see? We need to repent. The Bible says that repentance is a changed behavior, a new way of thinking, a changed of mind and of heart. The reason why it's so important that we repent is because God is a God of actions speak louder than words. I have learned that Jesus said, if you really love me, see, you would just follow my commandments. The things I'm asking you to do, you would just do. I know there's some people that are acts of service people. You could tell them how beautiful they are, how amazing they are, how strong you are. You know, when you're carrying the groceries, when they're carrying the groceries in the house and you're so busy acknowledging that they're doing it, that listen, you can keep the words, can you come and help me? Can you come and serve me? Can you, can you back up those words? 
that promise with action. See, there's some people where actions speak love. And I've learned with God, it's, it's our words can be used as a form of praise. When we sing unto God, when we worship unto the Lord, there is, there is praise that comes from our lips. But I was reminded, even this week, spending time with God, repentance is praise too. See, if God is speaking to you and he's been dealing with you and he's been trying to get something through to you, see, see, if you walk with God and you really love him, the fruit of the relationship is repentance. And that's you saying, God, I praise you. Everybody can lift their hands and say, God, I love you. I love you. I love you. But I've learned especially with God, actions really do speak louder than words. Hmm. So God, we receive the grace and the strength and the very desire. See, the Bible says that God will give us the grace, the strength, and the very desire to do whatever it is that pleases him. And so even if you're struggling to repent, we say, Father, we receive the grace. We receive the strength and the very desire to do whatever it is that pleases you. Because ultimately, all of us just want to be able to say, God, I love you too. Repentance is praise.